for our next news special report. In this special report, we dive deep into the heart of a story that could shake the very core of our republic. New revelations from the Oversight Committee suggest President Joe Biden might not have been entirely truthful about his knowledge of his family's intricate business dealings. The Bidens, more than just a political dynasty, but potentially a family that saw international and domestic markets as their own gold mine. Stay with me through tonight's report as we examine the evidence, hear from key players, and assess the gravity of these revelations. And trust me, you don't want to miss the final thoughts. So let's get started. Unraveling the threads of a complex web, the House Committee on Oversight and Accountability under Chairman James Comer made a bold move Thursday that left many jaws agape. At the focal point of this drama are Hunter and James Biden's personal and business bank records. These records are now under subpoena, the ramifications of which could be absolutely monumental. Watch. The witnesses today have all identified the evidence the committee has uncovered as deserving further inquiry. And that is what this committee will do, no matter where that evidence leads. I want to thank the witnesses for their testimony today. It confirms the evidence compiled by this committee justifies the investigation of Joe Biden's role in his family's international business schemes and justifies the next step of this investigation. One of those steps is gaining insight into where the Biden's foreign money ended up for what purposes. Therefore, today, I will subpoena the bank records of Hunter Biden, James Biden, and their affiliated companies. From the outset of the investigation into the possible abuse of public office by Joe Biden, Chairman Comer's strategy was simple but profound. Follow the money. Money, after all, tends to be quite a revealing trail. As the story unfolds, bank records don't often mince words, and coupled with witness testimony, they can form an undeniable tapestry of truth, or in this case, perhaps expose a culture of corruption. Chairman Comer has reason to believe that the Bidens use their influential family name to solicit deals around the world. The Oversight Committee's findings suggest the Bidens might have been conducting a lucrative family venture under the guise of politics. So what were they selling? Simple. Access. Access to Joe Biden. Whether it was luncheons, calls, or meetings, Hunter Biden appeared to be the point man, ensuring that those willing to pay had access to his father. I know we're delving deep into the Biden's financial maze, but let's momentarily take a detour. Let's think about investments in finances as we're talking about banks. So picture this, if you will, the Bidens as an investment firm. Now ask yourself, do you want to control your financial future? Just as the Bidens supposedly knew the value of connections, you can understand the worth of investments. Noble Gold Investments can guide you investing in precious metals. It might seem complex, but with Noble Gold Investments, it is straightforward. Actual customers say, Honest guidance, no pressure tactics. And now they're offering a free 5-ounce Silver America, the beautiful bullion coin for qualified accounts. Noble Gold has a shining A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau. Don't leave your finances to chance. Head to nextnewsgold.com. It is the only gold company that I trust, and you can also call them at 877-646-5347. Now, returning to our narrative, let's talk about the evidence. The Oversight Committee since January has meticulously worked to uncover the true depth of the Biden's family dealings. They've revealed a staggering 20 shell companies used to rake in over $24 million from various foreign sources. Yes, foreign sources. China tops the list, but others are not far behind. Moreover, the data suggests that nine members of the Biden family benefited from these schemes. Yes, nine. The question then arises, how could the president of the United States be completely oblivious to such extensive family affairs? He is the head of the family, after all. Especially when records indicate that Joe Biden interacted with his family's business associates not once, not twice, but at least two dozen times. This whirlwind of transactions wasn't just a quiet storm. Recently, Chairman Comer subpoenaed bank wires that presented a startling revelation Yes, payments were made to Hunter Biden from Chinese nationals in the summer of 2019 during the heat of President Joe Biden's presidential campaign. And here's the kicker. As we reported, the beneficiary address for both wires, Joe Biden's very own home in Wilmington, Delaware. Yes, it goes right to the doorstep. House Ways and Means Committee Chairman Jason Smith didn't hold back on his thoughts and his eyes after releasing a whopping 700 pages of new documents. It's clear. Joe Biden was more than just aware. He was connected. Smith highlighted the glaring fact that Hunter Biden seemed to be selling access to his father. 
the vice president at the time, and now the president. Watch. Yesterday, the Ways and Means Committee released new documents showing President Biden was not just aware of his son's business dealings, but he was connected to them. In a newly released message to a Chinese business executive, Hunter Biden mentions preserving the, quote, keys to my family's only asset. That asset, Joe Biden. New evidence released in response to questions raised by members of the committee on both sides when Gary Shapley and Joseph Ziegler, the two IRS whistleblowers, testified in July paints a disturbing picture of a revolving door between Joe Biden's office and Hunter Biden's business partners. According to a worksheet provided by IRS whistleblower Ziegler, then Vice President Biden's April 2014 official visit to Ukraine occurred only days after a series of White House meetings with Hunter Biden and his business associates regarding Ukraine. Shortly after Joe Biden returned stateside, the Ukrainian company Burisma announced Hunter Biden's appointment to its board. New evidence provided shows Hunter Biden using his father's position to gain favor with billionaire Miguel Aleman, including having Joe Biden host them at the White House in February of 2014 at the vice president's residence alongside Mexican billionaire Carlos Slim in November of 2015, and then in 2016 using Air Force Two to shuttle Hunter Biden and his business associate to Mexico City. Whether it was lunches, phone calls, White House meetings, or official foreign trips, Hunter Biden cashed in by arranging access to Joe Biden, the family brand. The Biden family and their associates received millions in payments from foreign sources, including from Russia, China, Ukraine, Romania. In one email, Hunter Biden even bragged that he cut a deal for 10 million from just one company for, quote, introductions alone. And yet the DOJ wanted to keep the spotlight as far from Joe Biden as possible. One of the items we released yesterday was an IRS interview with James Biden, the president's brother, in September of 2022. The agency was barred in the interview from asking him about Joe Biden and about whether Joe Biden was involved in Hunter Biden's deal with a Chinese energy company. And when Hunter Biden had his tax liability of over $2 million mysteriously paid for by a Democrat Party donor named Kevin Morris, who he barely knew, something IRS investigators saw as a possible campaign finance violation, Assistant U.S. Attorney Leslie Wolf said she did not want any of the agents to look into the allegation. Behind, uh, on the board are notes Agent Shapley took from that meeting. He notes that Wolf told investigators that she was not, quote, personally interested in pursuing it. This is the same attorney, Wolf, who in an email we released yesterday responded to IRS investigators seeking approval for a search warrant with, quote, there should be nothing about political figure one in here, that being a reference by definition of Joe Biden. The Biden family sold access to Joe Biden's power, and the Biden Justice Department protected the Biden brand. We must continue to follow the facts. Well, the Oversight Committee isn't alone in this. The committees on the Judiciary and Ways and Means have joined forces together. Their singular mission is to provide the American people with the answers they demand and rightfully deserve. They're not just asking whether President Biden committed impeachable offenses, but whether he's compromise our national security? That's a question that resonates with every American. The committees continue to dig, searching for the truth among the myriad of financial records as the Biden seemingly profited from foreign nationals in countries like China, Russia, Ukraine, Romania, and Kazakhstan. Joe Biden's interactions with these associates raise his eyebrows. From dining, speaking over the phone, to official meetings, his involvement seems far from passive. As part of this deepening impeachment inquiry, Chairman Comer's move to subpoena Hunter and James Biden's personal and business bank records could very well be the keystone. As the details unfurl, as the financial footprints become clearer, 
this investigation is bound to leave an indelible mark on our republic's history. My fellow Americans, the health of our republic relies on the trust we place in our elected officials. This isn't just a story about money, foreign dealings, or political rivalries. It's a story about trust, about integrity. The Oversight Committee's findings, the subpoenas, the potential impeachable offenses, these aren't just political points to be scored. They are critical touchstones shaping our belief in the system, in our leadership. Every American deserves transparency, and we must demand it. It's the foundation on which our republic stands. And if we can't trust our highest office occupant, where does this leave us? Tonight's revelations aren't just news bites for tomorrow's headlines. They're a clarion call, urging us to stand vigilant, to demand truth, and to protect our republic's sanctity. Let's remember, our republic deserves nothing less than our utmost vigilance. Congratulations, you made it to the end of the video. Now keep up your quest for truth with this next news report. And if you found our channel enlightening, join the millions who agree with you. Tap subscribe. Thank you for watching the Next News Network.